Greetings, fellow makers! Welcome to our live stream here in the shop over on twitch.tv slash punished props. Today, I'm going to do some metal casting. That's right, we have metal. We have a hunk of metal. This is an ingot of pewter. And you can actually melt this at low, it's a low enough uh, melting temperature. You can melt it and pour it into a silicone mold. This is a special silicone. This is Mold Max 60. It's a high heat silicone. Now you can just pour this kind of metal into a normal silicone mold and you'll get a couple of uh, pulls out before it gets destroyed. But this stuff is uh, a little bit more durable. So that's what we'll be doing today. And not only that, we have a special guest that's going to hang out with us today. Ta-da! Hey guys! Ted's here! I'm here! Yes, we uh, Ted's on his way to Germany through Seattle. Seattle, so a layover. Ended up with an extended layover, so <laughs> yes. Ted's going to be here hanging out with us Excellent. Uh, today. So I'm going to get all this stuff ready. We have some examples here. We got a necklace that we did. We have a video on this one, actually. Here, Brittany did that one. Uh, the Amulet of Kalos. I have a ring I'm working on. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we're going to get all set up. We're going to melt some metal. We're going to pour it in molds. It's going to be real fun. Here's our setup here. This is a little melting pot. I just got this on Amazon. They usually use it for making bullets. Uh, it'll melt pewter easily. And here's our silicone molds, the Mold Max 60. I've got a little scooper for scooping out the metal once it's melted. And I have the things that I made. So here is a ring that I 3D printed that I want to uh, cast. And here's the mold that I made out of it. So all I have to do now is plug this machine in and turn it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess like a seven-ish. I'm not quite sure. I did some tests before, and I think I had it too high. Um, I need to be about 550 degrees Fahrenheit, but I don't know what that means in these numbers. So we'll <laughs> we'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of testing and, and try and figure something out. But it's a little bit of metal. We have a lot here to play with, so we can do some some testing. Brap, brap, just brap. subscribe, yay! Brap. Hey, what's up, brap? Thank you. Thanks, brap. All right, let's plug this thing in. A couple more things here, you guys. I've got a shield, a face shield here, that I'm wearing on my noggin uh, for safety. Uh, the only real concern is if uh, liquid, like water, goes in there while it's molten, it could splatter, which would be terrible. So face shield, and then to help with the surface tension on the molds, I'm going to put baby powder in and sort of coat the inside of that with baby powder and then blast out all the extra with air. That should help the metal get into all those fine details. So there we go. So that should be all set. The metal is starting to melt. You can kind of see on the edge there. It's all melty. A little bit, but it'll, it'll get there once it's all molten, we'll get it ready to pour. I did this casting earlier and it didn't turn out very well, so I'm going to put it in there and we can watch as it melts and then sinks into the goo. This is actually really cool. It's like the ending scene from Terminator 2. Oh, oh, it's melting. And gone. And there is our molten pewter. And it looks pretty good. There's some crappy stuff sort of at the top. I'm just kind of skimming that off. Um, what I found with my very limited metal casting experience is that it, it needs to be hot enough because this metal cools very quickly. It's still liquidy, but you can see it solidify right in the thing. Hey, Baka, subscribe for six months in a row. Thank you very much. Um, so you can see that that solidifies very quickly, which means if you're pouring it into your mold, it'll solidify and not get into all those details. So it does need to be hot enough that it stays liquid for long enough to capture all those details. But if you do it too hot, it kind of gets all cruddy and crappy. Like you can kind of see it turns orangey, like it's oxidizing. I bet if I put more of this in here, the water level, so to speak, would raise and it'd be a little bit easier to scoop out. 
Now, can you, that brick, you know, when it melted, you have to put the whole thing in there? Or can you cut, there's no way to really cut that. You just cut it with a bandsaw. Oh, you can? Yeah. All right, good. So if you want to add a little bit more without dumping a little bar, you just cut Yeah. It. So basically, you just take this and pour it into your mold. Right. It seems pretty straightforward. So I'm going to put my face shield down. I'm going to step back. Ted's going to step back. All right. Get a nice clean patch of stuff there. And I didn't quite fill the whole thing. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, how long does it take something like that to dry? Um, to cool? It recommends about 15 minutes to which, cool. Which, and still, with metal terms, that's pretty damn quick. Yeah, it's really, really quick. Um, you can see it's still kind of jiggly, but once it's cooled, solidified enough, we can move it away. Um, th so the surface of this is getting all kind of cruddy, and this is where having the live chat, if anyone in the chat knows anything about metal uh, casting, I know, but from what I read, it, that this ought to be like 550 degrees Fahrenheit, but I have no way of knowing that, I don't have a thermometer, and this knob here just goes from one to from low to high, from two to nine. So <laughs> I don't know what temperature this is, but it is turning a weird color. So I'm wondering if it's too hot. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Yeah, I'll try that. Uh, I'm gonna let it chill for a, a, a few minutes, and then we'll try and cast this ring. Um, this you well, can see. This right. is. I can see the color. See yeah, this is almost solidified enough that it's not. Yeah. Well, it's still it's very hot, but I can move it out of the look, way. Look how weird color Yeah, it's all black now. It's weird. All right, so we're going to let that cool down a little bit and try it again. Here's the one we did before. It's still hot. Too too soon to demold. It looks like I had set the temperature on this way too high. So I put some more of the uh, ingot in there, and I turned it way, way down, and it looks pretty good now. Um, this thing is meant for lead, which melts at a higher temperature, so by turning this way, way up, I'm going to turn it down even more. Um, it looks like I was just nuking this thing. So we're going to try it again. There's a couple of things we're going to do. So our buddy Jesse over at Midnight Armor recommended that we heat up the mold as well. So this is a high temperature silicone. It'll be fine in the toaster. We're just going to warm that up so that the temperature difference between that and the metal is a little more normalized. And then we'll pour molten metal in it. So that's what we're doing. We're waiting for everything to warm up and then we'll give it another try. We've got our pre-warmed mold. All right, we got our, well, we got our pewter ready to go. All right, here we go. Do Burp. it. Go. There we go. That's no, it. That's it. Very exciting. It looks really nice on the outside. It does. That which makes, it makes me believe it'll be good on the inside. Yeah. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, let's keep this crazy train rolling. Go, go, go. Four. No! Uh oh, no. Alright, that one may not have been as good. <laughs> so is it, would you suggest a bigger ladle or is that just pretty much it? I think well? a bigger ladle might have helped. Yeah. It's been about 15 minutes on this guy. It's cooled down. It's still a little bit warm, but it's cooled down to the touch so it can pop out of the mold. Now, this guy, I'm not confident in how it turned out, but hey, that turned out okay. When we poured it, I kind of had to pour it twice because I fumbled it a little bit, but that, that turned out pretty good. I think that's all right. Um, looking at the mold, the corners of the mold, kind of hard to see, but the corners didn't fill in quite, quite right. But it's pretty good. This is, and this is nice and cool. This was poured about, oh geez, about half an hour ago, more than half an hour ago, so it's good to go. Uh, but the surface, if you want to just polish it up real quick, you could you could sand it, you could file it, or just grab some steel wool and just buff up the surface a little bit to get a nice looking shiny metal finish on there. And that's pretty nice. That turned out okay. Cool. Let's see here. It has been more than 15 minutes. It's been at least 20 minutes since we poured these, so I'm thinking they're ready to go. It's a little bit warm. We did put this in the toaster oven, so uh, let's try it out. Ooh. Oh my, that is really nice. That is way, 
way nicer than the other one that we did. That is super duper nice. I may have to try again. It's not perfect, but that is really good. And I'm super stoked about it. I'll get some better, um, better footage of this. I'll lay it over this part here. Because this camera just doesn't do it justice. But that turned out pretty awesome. Nice! Good job, team. Thank you guys for the help. This is why we love our Pop-Tarts. Let's grab some of these other ones. Let's see, there was the space gun here. This guy here. Mini space gun. This one, I didn't get all in one pour. Yeah, it plugged up and the handle didn't finish. So that's kind of a bummer, but the rest of it looks pretty good. Uh, the great thing is I can just throw it in there and melt it down and do it again. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, how about that? We've got some lovely little metal jewelry that you could do for your costume or just for everyday wear. Um, I'm going to clean this guy up a little bit. Here's the, uh, the uh, first one we did. It's kind of pitted and gross looking. Um, the new one that we did turned out much better. So I'm thinking I'm going to clean that one up. I'll wear it, actually wear it, every day as a wedding band for a while and see how it, see how it holds up. Hey gang, I hope you had a fun time hanging out with us today. Thank you so much to our prop tarts in the chat for hanging out over on uh, twitch.tv slash punish props. And also thanks so much for the help. We've got uh, this hive mind of wonderful, talented, brilliant people who hang out with us every week and help us, especially when we're trying something new, something we're not completely knowledgeable about. Uh, but this is how we grow. This is how we get better at making things by buying some new equipment, by getting the materials, trying it out, hanging out with our friends, bouncing ideas back and forth, and having a good time. Uh, I know I learned a lot today, so hopefully you did too. Thanks again so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button. Also, head on over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash punish props. Give us a follow over there. You can catch us live every Tuesday, noon Pacific, and then we do our Q&A show on Thursdays at 5 Pacific. I hope I see you there.